4 p.m. today. That's to see whether the BJP and Chief Minister Yadurappa have a majority. KJ Bupaya continues to be the interim speaker for the floor test. The Supreme Court of India has rejected the Congress and JDS plea seeking to quash the appointment. He is a controversial BJP MLA according to the Congress and the JDS, but in its order, the Supreme Court said that it is not the law to direct the governor to appoint a particular person as an interim speaker. The court has instructed the Secretary of the Legislative Assembly to record the floor test and provide a live feed to local channels who will simultaneously telecast the footage. Lawmakers are currently taking oath in the Karnataka State Assembly for that crucial floor test, so they have to take an oath by 4 p.m. Yesterday, adding a new twist to the political saga, the Supreme Court had ordered Chief Minister B.S. Yadurappa to prove his majority by today instead of the 15-day window given by the state governor. A mammoth task has been cut out for the BJP, which needs at least seven more MLAs to add to its 104 tally to reach the majority mark of 111 in the House, which has an effective strength of 221. H.D. Kumaraswamy was elected from two seats. Currently, you're seeing MLAs taking their oath of office after the elections, and they have to take that oath, all of them, to 220 of them, by 4 p.m. today. That's when the floor test that the Supreme Court has ordered will be conducted to see if the BJP government, led by B.S. Yadurappa, can prove his majority. Before the session began, Mr. Yadurappa claimed that he would prove the BJP's majority. Meanwhile, in Delhi, the Supreme Court has rejected the Congress JDS plea challenging the appointment of the interim speaker KJ, KG Bopaya. He will continue to be the interim speaker and will conduct both the oath taking that is currently on in the Vidhan Sauda and will also conduct the trust vote from 4 p.m. Nishita Virendra now joining us from Bengaluru. Nishita, the Congress, though it has lost its plea, its plea has been rejected in the Supreme Court and Mr. Bupaya continues to be the interim speaker. It says that it's happy that the floor test will be telecast live. That's right, uh, Amitabh. Uh, your audio is not very clear, but if uh, I've heard it right and it is about the pro time speaker, yes, KG Bupaya will be continuing. The Congress argued that uh, they do not mind for KG Bupaya to administer the oath for all the MLAs, but they do not want him to uh, invite the vote of confidence. But there is no option really. The Congress uh, should choose between two things. One, uh, having KG Bopaya as the pro time speaker and to uh, having uh, 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 to delay the entire floor test altogether. And Congress is, knows for a fact that the more the floor test is delayed, uh, the advantage goes in favor of the BJP and that is something that the Congress is not willing to do. So as of now, yes, KG Bopaya continues as the pro time speaker on the floor of the Karnataka Assembly and uh, the Assembly session has begun and uh, the oath taking ceremony will uh, start soon uh, for the Congress, two MLAs, uh, the expected ones, Pratap Gauda Patil, as well as Anand Singh, have not turned up. We do not know uh, if uh, they have jumped ship to the BJP, but them not turning up itself uh, is advantageous for the Bharti Janta Party as it brings down the strength of the floor. With From 221, it comes down to 219. So the lesser the number, the easier it is for the BJP to cross uh, the magic uh, figure on the floor of the house so two of the congress mlas have not turned up as far as uh, information uh, as far as uh, us tracking here uh, uh, we this is the information that we have received nishtida virendra reporting from the vidhan sauda in bengaluru